Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, couldn't do a simple little landscape now. Something similar to the other stuff, but just just a sky, a foreground, a hill, a building, a cow. Not necessarily in that order, but it's kind of, oh, that's the plan anyway. But so it goes. On a tree. Tree. And that'll do for Joey. Just Joey there, your arm. Take your arm for a walk. And I probably won't stick to Oops, I'll let me brush it out. To dry, soon I've done that. I've squeezed out me two blues cobalt. Autumn rain, brown butter, yellow okay. But the bright yellow, I think that's wind, is it wind in? And I'll put a bit of turquoise in there. That'll do, for this. I'll try to get it all done in one hit as well, hopefully. Without the drying time and stuff. So, go straight in. So I'm going to take that yellow ochre. Okay. Literally just go straight in with it. Ah, I got a bit of the light. Straight out it's gonna be clouds. Too light manufactured. But I don't want this to dry. So you've got a yellow, go out to a red, and then some of the purple. People say I never clean my palette, that's the best way to clean a palette. Hold the brush at this end. Last thing you want here is detail. The more detail, um, the closer you are to the brush bit and the, um, the smaller the brush. So you've got all this lot painting itself. You don't want that to dry. Just scrubbing away. Let it paint itself. I'm just a mix of all me. I do like saving that, you get a nice border at the end. And you take the tape off. You get a nice greys of mixing these three primaries. And if I want any these greys to be darker or warmer or Okay, well that's just a bit of red or a bit of blue, a bit yellow. Oop. Oh, that tape's not stuck down up there. See, that's going to look a mess when I take it off. It's not going to matter. Put a bit of turquoise in there. So opposite side to the spectrum thing. Opposite of green is a red. You've got a reddy grey there. Bit more green in it. Oh, I'll have to watch that. To, um, oh, I'll have to watch this as well, it's dry. It's a bit warmer today. I nearly lost myself then because I was waffling too much. Put some yellow into that as it comes down. Not the yellow, yellow ochre that is, not the um, like yellow, I've not touched that bright yellow thing there. Right, left a few gaps there, leave that. Got that nice broken line. You got a light bit, so, and a dark bit, that's going to dry a lot lighter. So, we need to go a bit darker. Oh, but it's going over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too much. Let that paint itself. Let that come down. Do you know what? No, I'll leave that. Leave that light. And there's your sky done. What we'll do now. 
just leave that. Don't go back into that. I had a go sometimes. You've got a lot of sky in your painting. Doing a two-stage sky, which is nothing wrong with it, but it's just, it's just not my thing. Right. What we can got be careful because the board's at an angle. All the paint's congregating as well as the water. If you just get a thirsty brush, I just take all these. Ideally, I put this next whatever that is on and leave it. But all this paint's going to congregate at the bottom, and you don't want it dripping. So I've got my work pants on. So I've just done a bit of work in them. Um, Peak district this morning, just got back, so loads of scenes like this up there. But I was on my own, so I couldn't really stop the van and uh, take a picture. <laughs> no, oh, I'll tell you what, I have missed out. People keep asking about my colours, and they're my four colours. All these colours on here are a mix of cobalt, French marine, brown manette and yellow ochre and stuff that was on my palette. So the exact proportions of this purple I'm mixing, I don't know. Because the stuff dripping from the sky, the stuff that's been on my palette for God knows when. Do you want to get um, this slot here just just mopped up because you're going to get more on it just to stop it drifting when you get carried away <laughs> doing other stuff probably in the way there. And whatever you do now, don't go back into that sky. It's going to the bottom bit because. I haven't finished with that yet. Well, the top bit, leave it. That's looks like a rain cloud coming down. But in all honesty, the paper's buckled, so that's congregating in the hollow, which it was meant to be. Right, and. This is probably too light as it is. I've got a brush that's shouldn't be using me. Really. That's like my tree brush because all the bits of air is coming everywhere, coming out. Leave it overnight. Gets dry and you get some lovely. That's too blue. Brush could be a bit small actually. You want different edges. See this will fade off into the sky. That is still a bit background is still a bit wet, so you're getting a broken edge there. Didn't quite like the angle of that. Because all this paper now is drying at different speeds because the wetness of the paper and the thickness of the paint on it. Well, we'll let it do it. Don't bow. We'll go back into it. That's, I don't know what. That might dry with a bit of a mark on it. But it's off. It all adds. Some thicker paint, some thinner paint. Just using the same colours. I'd want to try and get a dark edge at the bottom. So I like that bit there. Just don't want that to drip. This painting is no, not a third done, I think. Get 
Prosím, to nevím, se pivo. Deep blue, ne? Still wet, so no, no. So I've got back into that. No, I should have done. <laughs> you both see it. I'm gonna dry a lot of light that. All my colours, by the way, are transparent. I don't use any stainy colours. A lot of people use that um, lizard in crimson. No, I know it's only a personal choice, but I, to me it doesn't mix nice purples and you can't get rid of it with some paper. So just, I just leave it. Speaking of leaving it, I've gone a bit too much mess about on that. So let's have a look at this foreground. Get a yellow, yes, yellow, dirty yellow, yellow. And I don't really want any drops in that. That um, mountain foreground going into it. So. That's just some neat. Something going to be the yellow now. Yellow. Uh, oh. oh, that's a that's a bit dark, right? The green. Okay. Ooh. Oh well. That's what it's meant to be. Just so I go because I'm left handed. I go from that. Oh, I like that. What's happened there? I've got quite a lot of yellow ochre on my brush. And I didn't realise, but I wouldn't like that up there. But leave that. Get some nice effects now. You look at cold water running into that. Cold water? <laughs> Fresh water. Clean water. And just go darker. Let's get to the bottom. And I like that because that clean water now is going to go just come down into that thicker wash and here's where I think I am going to just leave it to dry I might just get a thirsty brush and paper towels and it's just taking the excess moisture But I do like it when you go back up and make cabbages or cauliflowers or whatever they call them, rum max. See, ideally I'd leave that. But if you look at this foreground, it's a lovely um, accidents. Leave them. Don't do anything. Worst thing you could do now is get your brush and go on and mix that paint up on the paper. Do stuff like that. Might get a few interesting marks. But don't, I wouldn't put your actual brush on the paper. Right, I think I'll leave that drying. It'll come back later. Hopefully, these will be mopped up. And I might just put a bit of thicker paint, not moisture paint, just on the bottom just to make the difference between light and the dark a bit more uh, a bit more prominent uh, I'll be back in a minute, I'll probably be a couple of minutes but I think so before you literally be watching paint dry so and I'll, I'll put some dabs on there Just like that. I'll see you in a bit well, well it's uh, I've come back, it's dry um, one of these uh, cauliflower is come up with that. I was going to paint a, uh, some sort of house or something there, but I just like that effect. I'll, I'll do something, but I'll leave that. It's, it's not totally dry yet, but 
Yeah, I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but not too much. I should have left that. Uh, what will we'll do is. No offence. Piece it in. Might change all this and just. Literally, that peak house was over there somewhere. Too much time over it actually. Need some rough, rough bits. Need some lights. Too good. Right. Well, those fails. Put a tree in. Some more. Oh, it's done. Should have put some more paint on. That's just an initial thing. Too neat. Mess it up, destroy it. Not destroy it, but Yes, something's uh no. That's better. Do that a lot, paint with me brush. Uh, paint with me tissue paper. Instead of just dithering, crack on with it. Some random colours. Not so much random. And I might just. on that mess it up a bit. Don't want to upset this foreground too much because it's quite like that. Oh. 
They've got a bit too uniform on their green. Mm. I don't know you can see that from there. I'll leave that, I'm a little short about it at the moment. Tell me to go quiet and worried. Not worried. Never worry about a bit of paper and a bit of wet paint. Especially this day and age. Oh, I've got, a, I've got a message suggesting that all these videos are years old and I just put them up as and when. <laughs> I wish. By the way, it's what, 21st today. Chelsea have just sat Frank Lampard. That's so if that <laughs> means anything. I mean, this, this is filmed today. Suggested there being something there. Quite like where I've missed. This bit's out. There. Oops. Then I'll get some. I use a uh, lavender. I'll use this at the end with my white. What this all? I don't know. It's something not much at the moment. Suggestion, a bit something happening. Something there. Quick dry brush. And we'll put a little gate. Able to walk through. And now a nice juicy thick paint. A nice little bowl. Also, you connect it. Uh, you foreground, background, background. To uh, your main one in. Just 
could have had some more. I should have gone into that back bit when it was still a bit, still a bit wet. Not too woody. Just a bit plain, straight a bit plain. Might be able to. Uh, is there something there? It's a little bit wet actually, it's not totally dry. To be fair, we're not far off. Just a little, little. Bit. With the sun being there, we'll give that some sort of reflection. That, I was just saying. Him and me, it. Oops, all that that. You will. Just a bit too close to that, taking the really off. And you can go to town on this. about it's just um, a little suggestion. Now I use this little it's pocket traveller's brush I think they call it and straight into me white gouache. When it's dry I'll probably do a little, what we'll do, I'll get some of that paint. See when it's dry, just a little bit. It'll probably dry a lot later. Over your finger, and that's basically it. I'll take the tape off and look at it again. That's going to bug me when it's <laughs> when it's seeped through the tape. This does. It sort of frames it, it? It shows you where. Doing doing not much, it just gives you a different view of it. She can get the safe off. God, just entertain yourselves with that. Isn't it?
I work on building sites. And uh, we're the last people in after the decorators. And you leave half hour with the masking tape lying about. Saves me a fortune. Well, that was today. Just leave. <laughs> something there. That's just a bit um, lonely. And that's a bit sharp. Oh. Probably a world another. There's still bits to do on that, but just a simple little landscape. That's before I think I said there's one building, there's a few buildings, or a suggestion of a building. One main cow, one main building, one main tree, one main hill, big sky, just one of each and a bit of nonsense in between. Just have a go, it's, it's a lot easier than what you think. Just about trying times and it's a paint. Right, thanks all. Hope you like that. See you in a bit. Bye.